Hello, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. <sighs> it's hard to say sometimes. Today we're talking about, what, what are we, the heck are we talking about? Today we're talking about staying organized while editing. There are a couple different tips that I've picked up over the years that make things go a little bit faster, keep things running smoothly. Smooth. Whew. All right, so here we are in Resolve 17 in the edit page, and we have quite a few different pieces of media. This is just some stuff that I shot over Thanksgiving with my family. Let's say we wanna make a little like vlog for a YouTube or something, right? This isn't a whole ton of media, but this concept works really well if you do have a whole ton of media. Obviously, what you could do is, you know, double click one of these shots, kind of figure out what it is, and then organize it into bins, right? You go up, right click and say new bin, and this would be called, you know, food. And then anything with food, we put in the food bin and, and so on. I'm personally not a huge fan of that. One reason is because a clip could have multiple things going on. Second reason is I just feel like we spend a whole lot of time organizing stuff for like not that much benefit in this way. I could also do something like double click on a clip here and then go over to file in the inspector. And I could add some metadata, add some comments like food, and then go through my different media that way. What's cool about this is if I right click down here under my smart bins, I can make a new smart bin and I could sort by comments and any comment that has food in it would show up here in my smart bin. So those are cool things to do if you have a ton of footage and maybe if it's shot on multiple different days and they're obviously very, very different, right? But for me, I'm one of those people that just really likes to keep things practical. I don't wanna go through and add a bunch of metadata. I mean, it's probably different if you're working on a film set with like 50 different people, but if you're just doing your own edit, man, it's just, you know. So let me show you a trick that I've kind of picked up over working on smaller projects throughout the years that I think will be helpful for you. I'm gonna grab all of this and just drag it into the timeline. And now we have all of our footage just lined out right here. We're gonna make what I call a raw timeline. So this isn't obviously like camera raw, this is just the untouched footage without any edits or anything. So I can rename this timeline raw, or I like to call it raw, because it's just more awesome. Then I can duplicate my timeline, I'll right click and say duplicate timeline, and here we'll rename this edit. And then I'll just delete this footage. Now, what this lets me do is in my raw timeline, I can go through and I can add notes to this. It's just a really simple way to make sure you always know what's going on, make sure that you have all of your media. If you have audio that you need to sync, you can sync it here and kind of put the whole clip in here synced. And what I've done quite a bit in the past is when I find something I like, I can hit M and add a marker and say, you know, nice baby shot and just mark the good parts of these clips. And then when I'm going through to build my edit, if you hold down shift and then hit up or down on the keyboard, you can move in between the markers and just look at the really good parts. I've done it this way for a long time and I gotta say it actually saves quite a bit of work because you don't have to go through and add all the metadata and everything. You just write in notes about things that you might wanna put in the edit, right? And you can also just kind of play through and get used to all of your footage before you do your edit. So you can play through and kind of get used to your footage as well as just write little notes to yourself. So this is a great way to do that. But one way that I think is even one level above this is to do this same kind of idea, but with adjustment clips. Check this out. Let's go into the effects library under effects. Here we have an adjustment clip. And what this is generally used for is to put like a color correction or a effect over some clip. So I can grab this and let's just put it right here. I can zoom in a little bit. So normally what this does is select the adjustment clip and zoom in and it will zoom in everything that's under the adjustment clip, right? So that's kind of a cool way to do effects on your timeline. But what I've started doing is just grabbing this adjustment clip and writing my notes here under the inspector where it says name. And so I can say good baby shot. And you can see it here in the timeline, even when we're really, really scaled out, right? We can see that here's the good baby shot and it has a beginning and an end. So we know pretty much like how long that shot lasts. Now you can do this with markers. If I take this marker and I hold down alt, I can click and drag and that will make a duration for the marker. And if I double click on the marker, I can do a similar thing. But there's a couple advantages here to using the adjustment clip. First of all, the marker, you don't really see what it says until you mouse over it. So that's not as good. And then also what we're gonna be doing in this raw sequence is just grabbing out the parts that we like, like this, and 
hitting Control C to copy, and then we can switch back over to our edit timeline and hitting Control V to paste. And you'll notice the marker doesn't come over, but guess what does come over? The adjustment clip. And so we can really just tack these notes onto like this top layer. We'll even make it a different color, oh boy. And we can always know what's happening in this shot even if we're zoomed out, even if we're not over it, we always know, hey, under this is the good baby shot. This is super helpful for stuff like documentaries, where you have a lot of different parts of the story, a lot of different interviews. What I've often done on like an interview, so here we have kind of a pseudo interview thing. So we can grab this adjustment clip, and this is where he says, I'm thankful for my friends. And now this lives here. We can even select this and right click and say link clips, and now, we can't grab this out of sync. That's always a little note for us in our edit. Super, super helpful. And again, anytime that we select this clip and move it somewhere else, whether it's in between timelines or even just like swapping this around on the timeline, the notes stay with the shots. Pretty awesome. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you want more workflow tips and things about DaVinci Resolve, check out our crash course right there.